told my mama keep her head up, I won't let up My city needed me to step up, getting fed up Broke for the pop off, get your bread up Missed calls for my old town sweater I'm just really scared to go, bro At 16, and you had to sell dope I want to keep a links and a gold rose Cause people love it when you shine, when you down to go, go, shit But I think Come and take a ride, see the world through my eyes Every day is a surprise, so I party like my birthday LA is my birthplace, first place west side Loud as I wanna be Alright, so this is our favorite chest exercise right now Probably always has been it Might not be my favorite to do, but I think it's the most beneficial to my training So a lot of you guys will notice that when you bench press You'll get one side favoring the other It's very natural to have one arm be stronger than the opposite arm so what we really recommend is trying this exercise. So all it is is a single dumbbell press. You can either do it by starting with both up, keeping one down and always keeping one up, or always having two down and just pushing one up at a time. This is up to you and your preference. If you really wanna make it difficult, get more of a static hold, work your core, your abs a little bit more. You can have one about halfway, fully extending, vice versa. And if one is weaker than the other, I recommend starting with that one and doing an extra rep with that. And that's gonna really help you work your stabilizing muscles, especially for single arm dumbbell movements as opposed to your standard barbell where having one side stronger isn't that big of a deal. With dumbbells, it's kind of do or die. So I really recommend adding this to your regimen for 2017. Let's make some gains. I love those, man. Uh, whew. Good? So as of lately, I've been using a ton of dumbbell work in my training routine. We don't have any barbells in this gym yet but they are coming very soon. I think they should be here next week. Uh, when I was competing physique, I used a lot of machines, powerlifting a ton of like barbells, that's basically what I use. But now I've just been crushing the dumbbells. Even on a leg day, I've been finding ways to make my routine absolutely killer. A ton of lunges, Bulgarian split squats, a lot of leg press. And it's just been a lot of fun, like kind of taking a routine and seeing how you can switch it up and just use the equipment that's actually handed to you. And I think that's very beneficial to acquire that skill uh, to be, you know, a competitive lifter and just uh, succeed with your training routine. So, just been crushing it and loving it. Let's crush 2017, baby. Bigger go home, bro. Go bigger go home. <laughs> oh, Frank, let me. Yeah, I get this. So, uh, we're just having a debate. So when I started doing these, let me lower this since I'm tired right now. But uh, when I started, I was very textbook. I'd come down, huge contraction, right to here, keeping tension, back down. Lately, I've been going a bit heavier. Coming here, in a controlled manner, of course. Coming down, getting a big contraction. Coming up, utilizing a little bit of momentum. So I'm a little bit over tension here. So I'm taking some attention off my tri, putting it on my bicep. By putting it down and letting it come up a bit, I can smoke a nicer contraction. Sure, there's some momentum, but I feel like with strength training, it's more applicable than maybe if you're just bodybuilding, you just want that contraction. But for me, I like doing these heavy and just getting some good reps. Really staying in the hypertrophy range, but what do you guys think? What do you do? Okay, to add more onto this though, I wanna make this clear before someone gives me hate. If you're a newer lifter and you're just doing this, I think you're doing something really stupid. Or even if you're just doing this, there's a clear difference between this whether you can see it or not in this. It takes a while, but once you get better, you can really learn to properly engage and squeeze your tricep versus just going down. It's mind-muscle connection, right? So even though I am utilizing momentum, 
because I'm a more experienced lifter, I know where to squeeze and I know what I'm aiming for from this exercise. Even Arnold and a lot of guys, they'll like to utilize some momentum in a safe manner. By doing this, I know I'm not gonna hurt myself. I have good elbows, so that's not even a worry. But that's why I think I will stick this way. Put some more weight on that bar and try it. Not too much to where your form's gonna suck, but like, you're not getting a ton either, right? Oh, like, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll do something that I, I'm not comfortable, that I haven't been doing lately with my controlled reps and try to step out a bit. Just make sure you get a nice contraction, yeah. Especially after chest, you feel it a bit in your chest, which is pretty cool. Okay, but even how yeah. we always talk, sometimes we'll do these and we'll just pick a light weight and be like, oh, we're getting good contractions. Yeah. But I feel like you get lazy with that. Whereas here, you're actually, those are money yeah. reps. I feel like the intensity there, like just compared to doing something like here where you're like squeezing, like obviously squeezes are great, but you're just going nice and controlled. But if you're powering through it and squeezing, yeah. I feel like you're gonna get the most. I feel like I'm gonna start training like that. I think, I think that's a really good way to Bring the intensity back, it. especially in the yeah. off season. For sure. Woo. Bro, she's creepy. Look yeah, seriously. Creep into the creep. Keep what your, is she doing? Try working out. Stop staring. <laughs> Shoot. Anyways. Right, what are we doing? On the topic of staring, uh, I was watching Mike Rashid the other day. He's actually a really cool guy. One thing he was doing that I found pretty cool, actually, is so cardio, like we've always said, gets very boring, especially in the off season. We want to try switching it up, and you don't always just want to walk on a treadmill. Because uh, we box jump a lot, but most common comment I see is, oh, I don't have something good to box jump on. So what we're gonna try doing is just a set of five, I guess, to start it off easy. We're gonna try to work up to 10, just high jumps, just exploding high jumps, and then that'll wipe you. If you're truly giving it 100%, you might look a little stupid. People might look at you, but leave the pride at the door. This is a gym, we came to work, get results. I might look a little awkward, but- I don't Nobody's care. in here anyways. That's a good point, <laughs> all right. So we're just gonna go five super high explosion, explosive jumps, knees to the chest. Yeah, I think we could do 10, but that'll wipe you, hit it. Let's keep it, let's keep it raw. It was a killer, so I've never tried these personally. Just so big jump, whatever big you jump. want. Hi, oh, yeah. send it. There you go. Send it. No breaks. Oh, it was a killer, man. Bro. Let's go for 10. All right, I'll hit 10. Me. All right. Oh. Oh man. That is the definition of hit. Holy hit it. But eventually as you get better, do a full squat and then jump up at Yeah. Get it. Oh, I think it was 10 or 11. Oh. All right. Oh man. Woo. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. We're gonna finish that off. Two sets. We're already gassed. So doing these five sets, five sets of five, I think is more realistic. Rest about 30 seconds. Add it in and reap the rewards. Hopefully you guys enjoyed kind of chilling with us in the gym today. We're kind of bringing it back. I'm kind of done with food challenges for now. So uh, yeah. Got a cellar in my crib where the dead bodies go. Shit, the wrong words could be detrimental. I've been negotiating deals, so I never settle. I got a key from OGs who be down to flammable. And y'all still rocking fake chains.